what's up youtube mississippi metals here and today i was going to do a video on a little coin i picked up at a coin shop normally i'm considered a stacker i try to get the you know the most metal i can for the the, the cheapest price but you know occasionally and, and i think a lot of stackers are this way you know you just got to go for something that you know is really pretty every now and then um numismatic so basically a, a coin that has a value beyond the amount of metal that's in it um well today i picked up this guy right here so it is a 2014 britannia lunar horse obverse mule hmm mule well, when I first got it, I, I thought, you know, oh, okay, well, it's a Britannia that's slabbed. That's cool. Maybe it's a proof or something. Uh, I paid $125, which, you know, that's about the going rate for, you know, a proof eagle, uh, you know, or something proof to slab, you know. Um, but anyways, I got this one. And, uh, you know, I started doing a little research, looking around. And trying to figure out why it was called mule. Well, it turns out this, it's an era coin. Okay. Well, why is it an era? I mean, it looks like a Britannia, right? I mean, it looks like a, all right. But what it is, is on the obverse, it was struck with the die that was intended for the Royal Mint's Lunar Series. The first year they were going to do it. The year of the horse. And the error is. Let's see. Alright. So if you see on this side. Let's see. You got the little ridges. That goes around the outside of the coin right here. Right? Okay. But. On this obverse side. Let's see. Focus in. There we go. It does not have these ridges. And that makes it an error because it should have had those ridges. Let's look at a, a regular Britannia for a second. Um, all right, here we go. All right, regular Britannia. Yeah, yeah, and this is a newer one. It's got the all the security features, the wavy lines. and um, But it does definitely have the ridges around the outside there. And let's check here. Let's see, focus in, yes, yeah, there we go. So it has the ridges, or the proper name is dentiles. So they're called dentiles. So basically, this coin is an error coin. And um, so that's really cool. It's definitely something that, uh, I, you know, the more I look into it, the more excited I get. So it came with this coa or certificate of authenticity you know it says 2014 britannia mule um it goes in uh, about the the error and then just kind of tells you a little bit about you know how this accident will happen but uh look down here it says no one knows how or why but for a small number of britannias this mistake was made all right, so small number, okay, so let's do a little research on that. How much is a small number? Well, what I came up with was uh, 17,000. So, I mean, that is a pretty low mintage or, you know, mistake. That's a low amount of coins. 17,000 of them were made before they caught this error. Um, and, you know, so also, as you can tell, uh you know it's graded by ngc and if you have if you've never been to ngc's website you know they make it really easy where you can go put in the number here and it'll tell you a little bit about the coin so i put that in and i went to ngc's website put the number in and what it gave me it says uh, you know, of course, what we all know, 2014 Britannia Lunar Horse Obverse Mule. Um, it says, 
GEM uncirculated, that's G-E-M, label 0149. And then um, it says total graded by NGC 4. So, I mean, wow, that's even lower. And, and something else that's really strange about this coin is that it's not actually graded. There's not a grade on it anywhere. Um, I, of course, I always thought that was the whole reason you slabbed a coin was to grade it. I mean, you know, all the rest of them that I have that are NGC, it's, you know, 70 uh, or, you know, 69 now so what i did is i went to google and i you know i searched for this coin and there's quite a few well i wouldn't say quite a few but there are some on ebay um and these guys are ranging anywhere you know for from 365 to i'm seeing them for 2500 dollars you know so again, I paid one twenty five for it. So hopefully, I don't know. Maybe I struck gold with this mule coin. Um, but I'm going to continue to do a little bit more research on it. I just really wanted to get this video out. I thought that it was just a really cool coin. Um, I'm glad I come across it. Um, it was definitely something worthy of making a video about it. And, you know, if you guys have any information, you know, please let me know. I would love to know more about it if, uh, if there's anybody out there that can give me more information, you know. Um, anyways, um... Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Again, I'm just starting out. I really appreciate everybody's time. And um, see you next time. Keep on stacking.